In a previous lesson, we looked at how this guy Priscus Tarquinius uh, Lucano became king, and then we're going to see what he did once he was king, and known as Priscus Tarquinius. I can recall what he achieved, understand what might be truish, because some of this is, I'm not going to say true, but just, yeah, truish. Circus Maximus, expand entertainment, forum, sewer, Cloca Maximus, chastity, general, Sabines, Bay, Augur, Cavalry. So, here's some questions on how Priscus became king. Okay. Read those questions, know the answer, look in the previous video. So, once he becomes king, what did he do? He makes some what we call political changes. He expands the Senate from 100 to 200 men and these extra 100 men are his followers. So he packs out the Senate with people who are loyal to him. He builds something. He builds this, the Circus Maximus, the huge entertainment complex in the center of Rome. Way before the Colosseum, the gladiator fighting stuff, he builds this. It's where, as you can see, this circuit here, chariot racing took place. He can't have built this, this is built much later, but on the site, it seems to, you know, about this time, something like this seems to have been built. Chariot racing, and he seems to bring in Etruscan boxing. Importantly, when he built the Circus Maximus, he allowed some patrician families, the rich posh people, to build their own seating areas that were very high, separate from everybody else and higher up. Why is this important? Well, it signifies how Rome is still divided by, by wealth and social class. He builds this for everyone, that the posh people get a better, uh, a better view. All right, social changes. Number one, let's talk about Circus Maximus again. By building the Circus Maximus and putting on chariot racing, uh, Etruscan boxing is called, he changes the nature of Rome. People gather in a public place for entertainment for the first time in Rome. Yeah. He builds the forum, this area here, not the buildings, the bit of ground between it, it's all shops and things, people gather and talk. This is the forum and Priscus is said to have built this. And the Cloca Maximus, a sewer. He said to have started this, uh, this is actually it. This is the Cloca Maximus. Uh, in Priscus' time, it's said to have been open air, so the roof wasn't on there. So it was a big, just a big ditch. Again, looks like this might be some truth in this because the sewers seem to have been built in Rome about this time, and the Etruscans were good at engineering and could, were able to build this sort of stuff. Yeah, so that's quite a, is that something like this certainly happened at about this time. Look at this change, not much here. When he became a uh, king, there were two Vestal Virgins. And so he said to have increased the number to six to keep the flame alight all the time. As well as making them more Vestal Virgins, he also uh, increased the punishments for them breaking their vows. You know, they have a vow of chastity, meaning they won't have sex. If a Vestal Virgin is caught uh, having sex, she gets pregnant usually, to, therefore she this proves she's had sex. Um, she's executed in a very particular way. They don't want Vestal Virgin's blood being spilt, so they are buried alive. Yeah, we'll talk about that more in class. They're buried alive. You put in an un underground chamber and sealed up. In that way, you've killed them, but you can sort of say you haven't killed them. And there's no blood being spilled. Warfare. Priscus involved, gets involved in a lot of warfare with neighboring peoples, the Sabines, the city of Bay defeats them all, expands Rome's territory, extremely uh, good general, he's seen as. And in one particular incident, when Rome's under attack, he asks for more troops, more troops, more legions. And an augury, somebody who predicts the future in Rome, says, no, you can't do that. 
the the gods don't want you to do that. You know, there's, there's no there's a sign from the gods saying you shouldn't do that. To get around this, Leviticus doesn't increase the number of legions. It increases the number of men in the legion. The same number of legions, more men. And the increase of the first time, a separate cavalry unit in the Roman military. And that's the first time we have anything written down about Roman cavalry is during the reign of Christus. Right, his death. So he rules for 30 odd years. You can work out the dates, you work out the time from the dates in the title. He's finally killed by the two sons of the previous king, Ancus. But there's always, they've always been angry that they weren't king because Christus became king while they were away and their dad died. Yeah. They arrange a riot. And during the confusion, they kill him. But the clever thing is, or the important thing here is, after they've killed him, no one quite knows if he's dead or not because his wife, Tanaquil, brings his body back into the palace and closes the door. This is where the next uh, lesson will start.